okay? Uh, smoking for a breast might not be as uh, crucial as a smoking, a smoker who are going to do a, a facelift. I have a very good nose. I can sniff. I'm not a dog, not as good as a dog, but uh, I have a very good one. Uh, believe me. If I can, I can smell that they smoke, and they ask for the facelift. I will refuse outright. I won't do it because uh, there are a lot of uh, complications with the wound healing. For the breast, even if it's not that crucial, but you should stop two weeks in advance. And the, if you can stop two weeks, I think you can stop it for good. And there's no point that uh, you say, okay, I'll stop it for two weeks and then the, after the surgery, I, I when can I resume the smoking? Uh, to me, I think it's a bit uh, ridiculous. <laughs> so smoking, please, please, if you think you cannot refrain from smoking, I better not do it, especially fastly. Uh, drinking won't be uh, that serious, but uh, it depends on whether you're a heavy drinker or not, because uh, your blood profile, your liver, your other organs uh, might be affected. I don't think uh, a drunk uh, person will, will go for a, a breast implant or a facelift.